as a uh, ecologist point of view uh, i think it is some uh, drawbacks are that though it is a green energy uh, the drawbacks in the sense uh, the ground dwelling uh, amphibians reptiles uh, pastrain birds ground dwelling birds are uh, affected in the sense it is not uh, i mean uh, it is not predated or the balance is missing there once it is open land it was predated by uh, the harriers or the uh, big raptors like owls nocturnal owls uh, eagles but i think it is not happening now and i have witnessed uh, several birds uh, stuck into the blades and got killed by the uh, turbines uh, including owls uh, i mean some mammals like fruit bats so these are some concerns about uh, the windmills in the ecological point of view Yeah, so one thing is uh, the wind turbines are here coming up in uh, either grasslands, open uh, scrublands, uh, or sometimes even in farmlands. Uh, so what's uh, I mean, currently the grasslands and open what is called as the open natural ecosystems uh, are the most threatened in India, and this is where all the renewable energy sources are being concentrated. And uh, as far as the I mean, southern Tamil Nadu areas are concerned. these uh, ecosystems have been very poorly explored explored in terms of biodiversity and also in terms of the livelihoods they support uh, so that that's an area of research that we need to focus on and also because uh, we have seen in the last 5 6 years many of the species that we have been monitoring has been on decline especially areas have been in decline and uh, even kestrels have been on decline so many many birds at least have been in decline and also the uh, what is called as the madras hedgehog which is uh, endemic to the region uh, also we have been seeing very few of them